Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are jumping into Railroader. And like I said in my video on Sunday, uh, this is what we're playing for the next 10 weeks here on Wednesday. And excuse me, what we'll be doing is I've, I've never played this game. Of I've just been to this menu right here. And like I said, this is early access and I'm taking a chance on it because I don't I don't like to buy early access games anymore just because I got burnt on a couple of them. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be running through the tutorial. And if you've watched this before, this is going to be old hat to you. I've watched a little bit of it. Um, not enough to know what I'm doing. So, and if you've played this game again, it's going to be old hat to you. But if you have played this game and you notice anything that I'm doing, please make sure you, you comment. And I do read the comments. I do. If you, I, I, yeah. There have been comments that definitely have helped me along the way. So um, we're going to do the tutorial. So we're going to be starting a single player company mode game. And so let's, I guess, get single player. New game. Um, the, no, more freedom railroad. MFR, baby. Company, yes, name your save, NM, yes, and we're going to click start. Oh, okay, here we are. I have not messed with the graphics. I haven't done any of that. Probably should have, I suppose, but we're, we're not. Okay, so East Whittier after the flood. And if I'm pronouncing names wrong, there's no reason to cor correct me because I'm going to keep pronouncing them wrong. Uh, today's the day we're, we're our own railroad. The Atlantic Railway might not have thought this theory is worth the time, but now it's all in our hands. You know, one, and a half good, one and a half good engines out of the deal in the roundhouse and Bryson is in good shape. Trouble is, doesn't do us much good with the bridge at Ellis still out. This yard at yada yada yada. We at home from number down nah. uh, Interchanges with the Atlantic Railway to the east and the engine service facilities. The coal conveyor, water column, and engine sheds are more than enough for our current needs. Okay. You can reposition the winder. Uh, before we get to running any passengers or freight, we have a few things to attend to around the shop. Here's the plan for today. Get familiar with the engine and take on coal and water. Rescue the derail ro derailed locomotive. Order more coal and take the hopper to the interchange. Run a passenger train to Whittier and Ella, west of here. Set up your first freight contracts with customers. Let's start by getting familiar with how you look and move around the world. One selects the first person camera, two selects the overhead camera. The selected camera moves with WADS. Right mouse button to ro rotate. Right mouse button to rotate. Can you rotate with this one? Oh, you can. Yeah, the graphics are kind of pleasing. Do I have an options? We have this. I see some weird artifacting in the middle of the screen. It's probably motion blurs. Maybe not. Don't know. Features. Input. Sound. Graphics. Character. We should wear gloves. All right. Good. Space bar jumps. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, doesn't jump in camera two. Boing. Try switching with cam cameras. Shift to run. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting with how it does it. Because you have to hold down the right mouse button when you're running. It's not like an FPS where you can just use the mouse and look. You have to hold down the right mouse. Okay. We'll try to remember that. 
and control to move the overhead camera even faster. Oh, lovely. Nice. Okay. Cameras are completely independent. You can move this to your advantage, which I just noticed. Let's board the engine, which is just outside the engine shed. Facing W to face the ladder. Oh, so you just run on it. Okay. All right, let's do that again. Okay. At the top of the ladder, find the engineer's seat in the cab. It was on the right side. Simply walk to sit. Oh. Okay, you can lean out the window with Q. Oh. Nope. Mm-hmm. E. Q. E. Q. E. All right. Um, scrolling zooms in, so let's, I don't know, like right there, I suppose. Throttle reverser, independent brake, train brake. Use your mouse and the tooltips to find these four hand controls in the cab. They each have a handle and are generally to the left or in front of you, easily reachable from your seat. We'll cover the brakes. Independent brakes controls the brakes on the engine and tender only. It's fast to apply and release, but it is only good for stopping the engine alone on very short trains. Train brake does the rest of them. It's controlled, changing the air pressure in the brake line. So that's a train brake. Independent brake is, okay, that makes sense. Each brake has its own control handle. Both brakes are applied by rotating the control forward toward the front of the engine and release by moving them backwards. Okay, try applying and releasing each of the brake controls. Gonna break it. There you go. No pun intended. Throttle is set between 0 and 100% and controls how much steam is sent to the pistons, which makes the engine go faster. Reverser is set between minus 100 and 100 full reverse and forward. When you want the full power at low speed, push the reverser all the way forward or back. As your speed rises, however, you'll need to move the reverser closer to the center. Okay. We'll give her a go. Switch to two, shift two. Center your camera on the character. Control click on your engine. This opens the inspector window for sure. The inspector can be used to move blah. Click the select button in the bottom left. And close the inspector window. Train brake top left, independent brake bottom left. Reverser top right. Or, I'm sorry, reverser is bottom right. And throttle is top right. They should have those reversed. Where because they go top, 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 bottom. It should be top bottom. So throttle would be on the top. And this is reverser. Could you can like control, like it'd be cool if you could like control click this to put it back into neutral. Okay. Um, HUD, wait. Let's make sure we got everything. Okay, so now we're zero and zero. So that's, you're able to run at that point. Uh, each dot, pre dot represents engine, tender, or car, which are these two. Oh, okay. So then if you have that on, it also shows that they are red for stopping. Oh, yeah. Purple handbrake applied. Gray is derailed. So oh, good. We're not derailed yet.
Okay, bell is B. I'm not going to remember any of this. H. Plus move mouse up and down quill whistle. Okay. Select zero selected car nine end of train. Okay. Control zero, first person jump to selected car. Oh, okay. Then that was shift two. Control two. Shift two. Sure. Zero to track your engine. Okay. All right, so... Both switches are set to normal, meaning they are set for typical path of the train. Click the switch stands and note how the points the switch. Okay. Um... All right, well, let's look at this. All right, so I need it to go from here straight, and then I need to go left, which is not that way. It would be that way. And then this one is like that. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. All right, reverse her all the way forward. Give her some throttle. Oh, she chuffing. <laughs> That's 6.9. Nice. That's a train break. We don't have that. We're doing it. Hey, I mean, you know, for my first time driving a train on here on the More Freedom Railroad... I think we're doing pretty darn good. So we got to get her... Oh, I don't know. Right about... Nope. We'll keep her going. Can we get it there? Nope. Got to go... Boom. Nope, we wanted to do that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Find the water hatch. Open it. Water inside. We need to line the water column up with our tender, which I think we did.
put this back in neutral. We're all we're all good. No, I think we're good. Oh no. We need to go forward just a hair. Off. There we go. I was looking at the hatch and not the hole. You know what I mean. Okay. So far, so good. I don't know how much this holds, so... Uh, was it this? What do you think? 4,000? 4, 4,000 gals? Yep. Stow it. Close it. Let's move it up. This is off. And right there. Oh, wait, I already clicked it. Uh, we stopped at the yard and engine service lead track, a track which runs parallel to the main line. The main line runs east to the west. Uh, our head end is pointed towards the western end of the railroad. What, open the map with M. Mm -hmm. It's actually a lot of railroad. You know what I mean? That's a lot of railroad. Uh, scroll wheel, click and drag, control T to move your camera to the point your mouse is over, uh, control T to move your character to where your mouse is pointed within the world. Oh. So, let's open this up. We are right there. So if I did control T... I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I'm, I'm back here. Okay. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. M. Close that. All right. We're good. Get rid of that. Find the derailed engines just a few yards away by foot, east of the conveyor, coal conveyor. You can see the cardinal direction, yada, yada, yada. It is right there. So we need to come up here and then back on to that track. So we need to come up here. Let's get that switch is good. That switch is good. So we got to get past that switch. Make sure that one is, that one doesn't really matter, but we need to get past that switch. And then we need to back up to that engine. Okay, well, let's go. Brake off. Forwarder is on. Give her some throttle because it's not gas. And zero. Probably should have hit the horn. Okay. This is much easier than I was thinking it was going to be, so that's awesome. So we got to get past this right here, and we'll apply some brake.
let's uh, flip that switch. And then let's make sure that all of our switches over here are good. Uh, that one is good. So we should get back onto there. All right. Centered. And let's uh, reverse. I'm sure as you get used to where the where these need to be, I've seen people play in this where they're just moving these all around and it's they they definitely know what they're doing kind of deal. Neutral, that's off. Get her in there slow, slow. Keep her going. We weren't supposed to go that far. Let's get forward some. That looks like 20 yards. Okay, this engine of flood. All its water and coal are gone too. Luckily it can be repaired, but it'll take some time. Walk along the, the derailed engine and tender for each. Hover your mouse over it and hit shift R repeatedly to it to repeatedly to until the wheels are fully back on the rails once the engine and tender are re-railed it can be coupled okay so we need to go back to this that's uh and then we walk over here and then we hit shift r Shift R until the wheels are fully back on the rails. Okay. Let's check this. Shift R. Okay. Oh, nice. Couple to the wreck with your engine by reversing into it. Make sure your speeds are low. Okay. Give me one second. All right, so let's get rid of this. And we are want this, we want to select that one. And that way we reverse into it. Give yourself a little bit of I was going a little too fast there. She was going to, she was going to chuff on in there. Okay. Um hmm. Bring it past the switch you used to access this track, the sawmill lead. You might need to use more throttle to get the wreck up the hill set the switch to normal and shove back past the coal and water into the engine shed oh we want to be in this view anyway because we want to push it back into there okay oh clicking outside the window 
Okay, so we want to pull back here, get back onto this line, make sure that is good. That is good. And then we will reverse back this way. So let's check this guy is good. That one is good. That one is good. And that one is good. And we'll put it in there. I'm reading the, and get on the ground between your tender and the damage engine. Okay. All right. So do I need to connect the, glad hands, I'm glad they, glad handed it. Oh, that was just right outside the dad gum. Just run into the seat. E. Yep, we're in. Two. All right. Hey, this is getting some use to it. So let's take that off. Let's move this forward. And let's get her going. Oh, yeah. We got her rocking now. Make sure everybody knows we're here. Okay, that one is good. Watching our speed. That one's good. That one's good. We're just, you know, double checking. Double checking. Wait, let's check this one again. Make sure we're good. Because we got to get past this switch and then back up this way. Because we'll have to switch that one back. Okay. Get everything correct in our head. Also, stop clicking outside because your your mouse goes out the window. So if you're moving your mouse too far, it's going to go off the window. Because I have three monitors in front of me. Well, I have four, but let's give her a little bit of give her a little bit of that. Let's give her let's give her a lot more of that. Maybe a little bit more of that. Oh yeah. Excitement. Jedi craves not these things or something like that. I don't know. I'm not a Jedi. Let's hit the stop button. Flip this guy over. Oh, there we go. So we should be backing down this line and then straight this way. And then we should be turning that way. Okay, I think we should be good here. So let's get this bad boy into reverse. I don't know if we have to use both those brakes or not, but, you know, it's what we're doing. Oh, they look so good. Those engines just look fantastic. We're just coasting now. Just giving her a coast. It's a little bit of coastage. 
So we should be good. We're going to put it in that one. Put her in neutral. And full stop. Okay. I have to get used to the you have to use your you have to hold your right mouse button down kind of deal. Um Are we in far enough? We might need to go back just a hair. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We could go back a little bit. Let's let's bring her back. Let's bring her back some. Oh, keep her going, keep her going, keep her going. Good. We're good. Would you look at that? Oh, let's go forward. Let's just put them all on. There we go. All right. Let's hire a worker. Shop. Open the community, the company window with I. Switch to the locations tab and find East Whittier Engine Service. Where it is, what track it has. Hmm. Repair track, good, good. Oh, diesel fuel, nice. So we need to hire a hire. Okay. Waybills tell you where a freight car needs to be delivered to. Most waybills are set by your customers, and you'll be paid when the car is delivered. Such waybills cannot be changed. Waybills are also used on cars that your railroad owns to, to order coal or diesel fuel, as well as captive services, which we'll cover later. Okay. An interchange is a designated track, usually a yard, that a railroad uses to interchange cars with another railroad. On your railroad, the yard behind your engine shed doubles as your interchange. So let's look at that. Okay. So the yard... Behind your engine shed doubles as your interchange. The interchange is served daily at 6 a.m. The class one railroads take the class one railroad takes delivered cars away and deliveries incoming for your customers. If the interchange is ever full and there are more cars to be delivered, class one will return later in the day. Much of our freight work will be for our customers, but we'll also need to keep our railroad running, and fuel is a big part of that. Your coaling towers and conveyors provide coal to use for use by your engines, and will be up to you to order and deliver the fuel that supply these. This is called railroad fuel service freight. You'll use cars owned by your railroad for this. Fortunately, we already have a hopper spotted on the conveyor track near where you loaded the coal into your tender earlier. Let's use this hopper to order more coal. Open the inspector for the hopper car with control click. Okay. Control click. Make the following settings. Loads to East Whittier Coal. Select. Select. Operations. Loads to East Whittier Coal. Empties to East Whittier Interchange. If 
This will immediately set a wheel bill to the interchange because the car is empty. When the hopper is delivered and the interchange is served, it will be loaded with coal and payment withdrawn. You can view costs on the East Whittier interchange panel of the company location tab. The return way bill will the return way bill to East Whittier coal loader will automatically be set. Hit tab to toggle the display. Okay. Let's move the hopper and start by coupling to the hopper car and the fuel track behind the cooling tower. I think we already did the brake, so close that. And let's get to our engine. Select. Is my guy in there already? He's not. Let's get him in there. Because we should be in the engine when we're running it, right? And we'll probably hang our head out the window. Seems like the perfect thing to do. There's my arm. Okay. Well, let's take our brake off. Let's get forward. Let's check our signals. So we want to go straight at this one. And we want to go right at this one. So let's move that. And let's bring her, let's bring her on up to the east side. Oh, wait. No, this one, yeah, straight at this one, and then right at this one. Okay. Listen, I don't want to derail. This is my first day on the job. See, I see a lot of people doing, like, this number with the throttle. I don't know what that means. We're going like that. Bring her in, bring her in, bring her in. Oh, too much of one, not enough of the other. <laughs> Boo, yeah. Let's get in there. Let's couple these up. Oh, open the angle cocks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, closed. Um, closed. Open. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Yep, 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 yep. And then, whoop, open. That's why we didn't have air into the other thing, right? Am, am I, it, right? So now I can do that. Okay, so 90 means, okay, that's a full open. All right, now we're cooking with, with gas. Okay, so this one, we want the same thing. And that means I need to pull it back past that switch and then come up here. Okay, so let's do that. Pull it back past the switch. Everything is zero. Let's hit the, let's hit the gas. Okay, get it past this switch, and then we need to go this direction. Okay, bring her on out here. We got to get it past this switch, then we got to go back that direction. So now we need to go forward. And we need to get it past this switch and then come back this direction. I'm honestly just trying not to derail my train. First day on the job, you know what I mean? And I have to say, like, again, I haven't played Railroad or, or Railroads Online in a couple years, so... All right. 
And I would say Railroads Online, the controls in that were a lot harder than these. Okay, so we need to come back this way. And I need to... Does it tell me, is it like a specific track? No. So we need to be in here on one of those two tracks, I suppose. Okay, so we get to Hall. We're going to flip that switch. And we want to flip that switch because we want to go this direction. We're going to put it on track two over there. And make sure we are good on this one. Okay, I think we're good. Reverse us. Well, and then I guess we can pick up the caboose and the passenger car after that. I think that'll be the name of the game, right? Because then we will have to run around, get those others. Hey, we got up to 15. Pull the hopper for, um, and onto the lead track. Throw the switch. It's dimmed. Now it's at its destination. Handbrake on. Okay. Okay. You can leave the angle cocks on the hopper open. Okay. Okay, so now we need to come down here. We'll be straight there. Uh, we need to come all the way back to here. And we are good on that track. And that one's not fine. Okay. Let's uh, reverse. Okay, we should be good. Oh, we got her figured out now. Now we're cooking with coal. This one actually needs turned. Okay, then we can get on to that line. So flip this switch, 
And let's head forward. After we get off this switch, I'll flip it back. I don't know if we need... We're doing a thing. I love this. This isn't overly complex, and it's yeah. Oh, you make sure that this guy is on our track, and then this one needs to be on that track. Okay, so we need to bring it back this way, that way, and then we should be able to get onto there. All right, Mike, bring her back. Wait, did I flip that switch? I didn't. The one switch I needed to flip, or the other switch I needed to flip, didn't flip. No, we, we definitely need to be reversed. Mike, bring her in. Bring her in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow her up. Slow her up. Ease her on in there. Ease her on in there. I guess we'll grab the caboose, too, while we're here. Right? Right. Actually, it was, what was it, control click? Maybe it was shift click. There we go. Shift click opened everything. Okay, we'll try to remember to do that. Um, maybe we don't need that. Okay, so we'll just take the passenger car. Passenger car, car coupled in the brake. Line full, release the brake, set the reverser to forward, ring the bell, blow the whistle twice, and throttle up. Okay. Okay, let's make sure that line is good. That is good. We're going to stay on the main line. That one is good. This one needs to be... That one was good. That one is good, and that one is good. Okay. All right. Well, let's get her going.
Off we go. To Whittier. Make sure our that signal's good. That oh, that one's good. That one's good. That one's good. Oh, so I'm just rechecking. Oh, let's go down here. Well, there we go. Oh, uh, two. Okay, that one's good. Um, checking the signal. Oh, these are good. These are good. Which is this one right here, I suppose. Do I need to go up a little bit farther or maybe just a hair, just a touch? Okay. You see, several passengers are traveling to Ella, which is good because that's where the coach is heading. Control click on the passenger car to open its inspector. Uh, sorry, control click on the passenger car to open its inspector on the passengers tab. Check the box next to Ella. This tells the passengers where this coach is headed and passengers for Ella will now begin boarding. Once you've had enough passengers, just whistle off and approach to Ella just over two miles west. Ella is at mile post 59.8. Whittier Station is 57.5. Keep it under 30 for this first trip. We have a few words about speed limits next. Okay, so our passengers are filling up. Oh, look at them. Look at them in there. They're super in there. How many cars or how many people did they have? Okay, so we got 28 of 60. All right. Make sure our signal is correct here. Is this double tracked all the way? No. Okay, well, that's okay. That's fine. Probably need to hit the hit the gas. 
Also, turn off the brakes. So we've got to keep it under 30 for this first trip. Thirty five for the main line. Basically like thirty twenty five to thirty five. Okay. White and Black S tells you when you're close to the station, as you arrive at Ellis, stop with the coach, align with the station. Your passengers will automatically begin to disembark. Once the train is fully stopped, open the inspector window and check the Whittier, but leave the Ella box check box checked. It will be unchecked automatically once they have all disembarked. Which one of these buttons is the tutorial? That's the guide. So I can close that and then hit this. Okay. Oh, I guess we could turn off our bell. I think we're safe at about 26. A little bit of a lag there. We good? Our cars aren't gray, so we must be good. I think we need to hit the independent on that. So like just a little bit of the independent. Slow us down just a hair. We might have been going downhill. What's this? That's just nothing. It's probably like tools or something. Look, you can pretend you're riding in the passenger car. Just try to keep it under 30 and not try to get it out of control. Let it go a little bit, but not, you know, I don't know anything about engines. We're just, we're going. We're just sending it. I was going to try to think of another, a name, you know, a, a cool name besides more freedom. And then, you know what? No, what's cooler than more freedom? Nothing. Is this a whistle? Oh, it's a mile post. I think this is a slow down point. Oh yeah, we're we're under 30, so we should be good. Just watch our speed. Oh no, door open, door closed. It doesn't really give you. It gives you a little bit more, a little bit more view, but. Oh, there we go. We zoom in pretty far. So if we see a, a thing, we'll we'll zoom in on her. Oh, what's that? Oh, goodness. That's an S. Oh, for station. S for station. Station! Okay, let's get out of here. I 
That's a whistle sign. Okay, well, that's what the station looks like. Maybe a little bit too much break. Still getting used to the camera controls. looking oh yeah there we go okay once passengers have disembarked you'll be paid for their fares about a dollar each a message in your upper left will announces this if you miss it you can hit tilde or back tick to open the console and review recent messages you can also type here to send messages in multiplayer the console is also available via the bottom buttons in the upper right by the buttons in the upper right passenger services and particularly profitable especially for short distances like this but longer distance fares pay better plus providing daily passenger service will increase your railroad's reputation which leads to other benefits if you want work that pays well you'll want to run freight which we while we let the passengers load here at ella let's consider our freight options well we're going to consider our freight options in the next episode because we are way we're done we're done here so um yeah this is actually been really fun and um i'm looking forward to playing this more so you know, what am, what am I trying to say? Let's uh, not do that. Let's click that. Select this one. Get rid of that. Get this tab button. Do that. Um, yeah, so that's going to do it for episode one of the More Freedom Railroad here in Railroader, which these trains look so good. Look at this. And one of the best things I think right now is it's just so easy to control these trains, and I don't have to build the track, and there's going to be a lot of... From the videos I've watched, you know, we have to unlock the rest of the railroad, you know, build things and stuff like that. Kind of like SnowRunner, but on a railroad and without so much yelling at the game, apparently. Uh, but, yeah, that's going to do it for episode number one of Railroader here on the More Freedom Railroad. And if you like this, make sure you like, subscribe, all that junk and stuff. It's very much appreciated. And as always... I appreciate you hanging out, spending your time here, because you could spend your time anywhere and you choose to spend it here. So I'm very much appreciative of that. And until next time, here on the More Freedom Railroad, take care. <laughs>